All right, everybody, get something to drink. This one might take a little while tonight. I'm going to grab something myself. I'll be right back. Calazars, cow lasers, Calazars, cow lasers. Calazars, cow lasers. Come on, let's have some adventures. We'll spend days, we'll spend weeks, we'll spend months working on treasure hunts Calazars, cow lasers Calazars, cow lasers Mike drinks coffee a ton Feel free to send him some Calazars, cow lasers Calazars, cow lasers Watch Mike once you'll want to watch him again James Frey once called him to talk for his friend Say bovine photons. Now let's get going on the double. Let's talk treasure hunts. Let's talk puzzles. Calazars, cow lasers. Calazars, cow lasers. Okay, can everybody hear me? Test one, two. Let me see here. Ba, ba, ba. We do this, we do this. Yeah, I found an old intro video back there, so I thought that was kind of cool. Calizars. Okay, we already heard that. You guys hear me okay? One, two, three, four. Uh, that's old. Yeah, that was an old intro video that I found. Uh, and I didn't realize in Zoom, you can actually use a video for your background instead of uh, a picture. So there it is. Da, da, da. Okay, thank you. All right, everybody. Happy Monday. Today is March 29th. Uh, it was a happy Monday for me because I didn't go to work today. I had today off. And also, it wasn't a happy Monday for me because K-Pro has been gone all weekend. K-Pro, if you notice, I'm solo tonight. Uh, K-Pro will not be joining us tonight um, because she's on assignment for the Treasure Hunting Amusement Park. K-Pro, drum roll, if you don't know. Uh, K-Pro went to Santa Fe, New Mexico. She drove out to Santa Fe. She's actually on her way back, and she may even show up while I'm live right here. So this is probably distracting. There's the crumb bunny, Davio. Is he in the house? There it is. And you asked me, did I grind it? Yes, I did. I didn't have a real coffee grinder, but what I did is I used a regular food blender, ground it up, and there it was, the old vlog. All right, let me change that. That's probably going to be distracting as heck. Hey, did I mean to do that? Did I mean to do that? Maybe I did. All right, hang on, everybody. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Technical difficulties. Give me a second. There we go. There we go. You guys all know this one. But no, we're not doing Conspiracy Bridge tonight. So this is not the one we're going to use tonight. We are not doing a Conspiracy Bridge theory tonight because K-Pro is not here. And Conspiracy Theories, I like to hear K-Pro's thoughts. So instead... We're going to do, if I can find this right quick, we are going to do, da, da, da. how about this one? There we go. Coins, coins, everywhere coins. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight. So, yeah, thanks for that coffee, Davio Crumb Bunny. I liked it. Uh, remind everybody that uh, Super Chat's on. If you want to show support or have me read a question, I'll try and check the chat room to read all the questions. Make sure you thumbs up just because I asked you to. And uh, yeah, that's what it is. So we're going to talk about a little known tent in the treasure hunting amusement park tonight, because I am solo because K-Pro is not here. We're going to do a couple different things, kind of call it Kalazar's variety show. 
Um, we're going to talk about these coins right here. We're going to open up a bunch of baseball cards that was on the red wedding registry. For those of you who know about that, uh, we're also going to talk about a little known tent in the treasure hunting amusement park. But before we do all that, I've got to give Mr. Copper Dan a hello and a hi, because you guys know Joel Lewicki, right? Joel actually um, married me and Capro out here in Vegas. Yeah, coins are fun, JK Pioneer. And Joel had his garage broken in and um, he had a couple things stolen. So Copper Dan, as a nice of a person that he is, decided to collect some money for Joel. Shh, don't tell him. Joel does not know. So if anybody Ooh. wants to send some money, we're sending it to Dan. Dan will get it to Joel. If anybody wants to send some money, I'm going to show you the PayPal account. Uh, I sent a couple dollars that way because Joe Lewicki and his wife, Victoria, they're just good people. So copperdan19 at gmail.com. Let me put that in the chat. His PayPal account. Make sure I got that right. I don't know if Copper Dan is in the chat or not, but you, if you want to send a couple dollars to copperdan19 at gmail.com, that is for Mr. Joel Lewicki and his family. And Dan will make sure that gets to him appropriately. Okay. I was looking for it. Why did I not find it? Oh, there it is. Uh, here, I'll show you guys. I'll show you. I don't care. Here, check it out. This is Dan's Facebook group. You guys should go join. It's called it's called Copper Dan's Gold and More. And right here, search friends. Our search friend, Joel Lewicki, Lewicki recently had his garage broken into Joel is a huge outdoor outdoorsman, and many of his camping items were stolen, including a backpack with handmade items that can never be replaced. Joel has been a huge mentor to me in the chase. He's the only breadwinner for his family, so replacing the gear is tough. If you would like to know, donate to the Camping Relief Fund for Joel, here's my PayPal. That's copperdan19 at gmail.com. Any donations over $35 gets you one of my numbered coins. Oh, that's awesome, Dan. Gets you one of his numbered coins pictured below. Just email me your address. Please send the money as friends and family. It's important. That way they don't take a fee out of it. And Joel doesn't know I'm doing this, so please shut your mouth. So there it is, one of Copper Dan's numbered coins. But really, everybody, we're doing it for Joel. So if you can send a couple dollars that way, I know he would appreciate it. Um. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so there it is. One more time. Copper Dan's PayPal. Thanks for doing that, Dan. A friend, And there it is. Dan is in the chat. And thanks for being a moderator as well, Dan. Copper Dan's Golden Moore on Facebook. Go join that group. Um, Nomadic Madman says, is K-Pro on a secret assignment or just picking up old mail? She made a trip to Santa Fe. When she's back, whenever our next live show is, she'll tell you all about it. I can't go into the details of what she may or may not have done. Jason, how you doing, Hillary? So we're going to do a couple things tonight, like I said. Um, one of the things I want to show you, which I think is pretty cool, is this right here. Da, da, da. Share screen. Uh, check that out. This is how I spent my Monday, at least part of it. That was creating this. I filled an old rum bottle full of coins. Isn't that cool? There's a little bit of everything in there. Shout out to Mr. John Wayne Bobbitt. He gave us this bottle of rum for uh, a wedding gift and we drank that rum obviously and now it's filled with coins but we're not going to talk about this bottle tonight this bottle is right up here on my command center this bottle will be the subject of a future show drum roll uh tonight we are going to talk about is this it this is it right here i've got a whole thing full of coins you know you know you have that spare jar jug gallon drum whatever it is and you just throw coins into it when you come in the house well i've had this for a couple of years now and i finally decided to do something with it and what i decided to do i'm going to call it the k pro cow lasers challenge and the way the challenge works first first there's a facebook group you guys should be in and that is down there in the description it is k pro calazars and k pro's grand adventure on facebook here's a linky link uh, and we're going to have a little contest. We're going to have everybody guess how many coins, not how many coins, but guess the dollar amount of what's contained in this uh, container full of coins right here. Um, I'm going to show you some of the guesses and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So before I get to the challenge of what we're going to do with these on Facebook, you go join our group, which is free. Calazars and K-Pro's Grand Adventure. Right here on this post, I said, how much? 
and look at, we've got, we're up to 43 comments or so. So 700, 333, 385, 687, 213. And it's just a fun thing. And what I did is I took a video of it. I'm going to show you guys so you get an idea of how big it is, et cetera. And we're going to have a contest. When I actually take these coins to the bank, I will know exactly how many uh, because we are going to cash them out, cash them in, however you want to look at it. And whoever's closest is going to get a prize. Now, this is how we're going to do it. Again, Kyle Lazar's and K-Pro's Grand Adventure on Facebook. This is how we're going to do it. Whoever's closest without going over, kind of like the price is right. You've got to be the closest without going over. So if there's $765.40 and you guess $765.41, I'm going to go to the person that was below it. Why? Because I can, because I'm Kyle Lazar's and I feel like it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, the person closest without going over gets a prize. And if you guess it to the penny right on the nose, you get a bigger prize. I can't say what the prize is yet because I've got to run it by my partner in all things, which is Miss Capro. So when she's back, <laughs> so when she's back, um, we will decide what the prize is. And it'll probably be a good week or two before I actually cash this in. So you guys have time. If you want to go comment, it'll be a fun thing. Uh, but what it reminds me of what Randy said, and he was talking about the jelly beans in a jar. He said they've done studies that if you take all the guesses, the average of all those guesses is pretty close to what it actually is. So I'm actually going to try that. I'm going to take the average of everybody who posts in the Grand Adventure. And once you see the video I made, if you want to go change your post, feel free to go in there and delete what you posted, post something else. You only get one guess, though. Your guess first in the list, that's the one I'm going to use. OK, uh, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's heavy. I mean, what could be in there? 300 to 500 bucks? I, I really don't know. But I'm going to tell you here in a minute what we're going to do with these coins. Let me show you the video real quick. Ba -ba -ba. Here's a video. So it's not even halfway full, but it sucker's heavy. I actually bought this, this thing of animal crackers just to use this tub for coins back at Sam's Club probably over a year ago. But there it is, guys. You can see what's in there. All kinds of coins. How much is in there? How much is in the jug? And how much will be in the jug by the time I turn it in? But I don't think much more is going in it. So somebody do the. Actually, Randy Pischel had a thing on this, right? Said everybody guesses the average actually ends up being right. Ooh, I'll do that, Randy. Uh, as people guess on this, I'll do the average, like you said. Okay, there it is. That is a little video. Well, it's gotta be at least 200 bucks, but I figured it's 300 to 400 to 500 to 600. Uh, what I've noticed on these things, when you have a bunch of coins, it's always a lot more than what you think. You know, you go to Coinstar and you see the numbers going up and you're like, whoa, because all everything on the table on the, on the on this side, no, on that side, these are all quarters. So what is that? 50, 60 bucks in quarters? Most of it's quarters. And there, that's because when I filled up the rum bottle, only nickels and uh, pennies and dimes fit. But anyway, 280, Jay Wood says. I, I, you know, I don't think so, JK Pioneer. We have another one of these, which is actually more full than this that we actually have to go through because we do think there are some of the more valuable type silver type coins. This is all just basic change. And I'm going to go turn it in. And I'm going, yeah, is there a gold frog hidden in the coins? Um, oh, K Pro is in the house. Uh, K Pro, I don't want to say it because uh, as you can guess what it is, it's in the safe. So I want to use one of those, but I got to get your okay first. So we'll talk about that when you get it. Need to take out the low and the high guess. The average would need to take out the low and the high guess. It will be interesting to see what it is and if it does average or not. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Collectibles. Trade market. I like it, Packer Jack. Collectibles. This is what we're going to do. We're going to take this to Coinstar. And I have one. We have one at our bank, which means that they should, shouldn't be a fee. When you do it and deposit it into your checking account, there is not a fee, which is good, right? So we're going to get that total. And that's whatever that total is. That's going to be our bank. And that's all the money we can use to, drum roll, storage auction. We are going to go buy one of these storage units. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, pro. That's why I said I need to talk to you first. See, Otherwise, we'll come up with a different prize if you don't like that idea. Uh, we're going to go get one of these storage auctions. You guys remember Storage Wars about 10 years ago? Storage Wars was all the rage. Now, if there's 200 bucks here, if there's 500 bucks here, that's all we can spend. That's one of the rules of the challenge, okay? 
we're going to go to a storage auction in Vegas. We're going to buy one with whatever this amount of money is. And then we're going to look and what, see what the items are and we're going to sell them and we're going to make a profit. And we're going to do that over and over and over again. And by the end of the year, I hope we could make how much? What do you guys think we could make? So let's say there's $400 in this thing. Could we turn it into 800 from one storage auction? And then we use that 800 and we buy two more. And then we turn that into maybe 2000. It all depends what's in the storage unit, right? I mean, 80% of what's in the storage unit is junk and you're going to take it to the dump. But it's that other 20% is where your money comes in. And if you get lucky and you find something really valuable, well, good deal. And a storage auction is just another kind of treasure hunt. There's this tent in the treasure hunting amusement park. Not too many people know about it because it's over there and around the corner, but it's a challenge tent. And this is a challenge that I'm putting on myself and Capro. She didn't even know about this yet. Uh, she is going to find out as she watches. Guess what, honey? We're going to go buy a storage unit. We've talked about this already. Uh, but what I, we didn't talk about was using this change to do it. Lucky Digger says, my grandfather used to buy storage units. He got stuck with so much junk, especially clothes. And that's just it. It's how much time do you want to spend? The money is how much the unit goes for. How much time do you want to spend? Do you want to do a garage sale with 50 cent clothes? Or do you just take that stuff to goodwill? And you're just trying to focus on the high end or higher end items, right? So, <laughs> so we have a truck and we have a vehicle that has a hatchback and the seats go down. So but we're not going to run a U-Haul. We have to do it. This is part of the challenge. We have to do it with our truck, with our two existing vehicles. We've got to bring it to our garage. We've got to sort it. And the cool part is we're going to video all of it and it's going to be in a vlog. You guys are going to do this journey with us. Oh, that would be cool with a long box of comics. You never know what you're going to find in a storage unit. That's the treasure hunt part. It is a treasure hunt, but you're taking a gamble, just like the 10,000 comic book collection. Oh, Chasing Indy says, come drop 2K on my mom's neglected storage unit. You'll make bank. And you just never should give something from the storage unit as a prize. That's actually an interesting idea. But I don't know how long this is. This isn't going to happen. It's going to be a while before this starts, guys, at least a month. We got something else big in the works for us that's a month away. So, but it will happen right when it gets hot, when it's 110 out. That's when we're going to do it. That'll be fun to be in a storage unit when it's 110 degrees out on it, Christy. But check it out, guys. The way they do things nowadays in the time of COVID is these storage auctions are online. You actually do your bidding through a website. And I'm going to show you one of them right now to give you an idea of how it works. Boop, boop. Check it out. Onlinestorageauctions.com. You put in your city, boom, this is Las Vegas. Check it out. This ends in three hours, $60. Now, here's the issue with this particular website. There's two main websites that I've looked at so far that have a lot of auctions, like over 50. This is by the seller. This private seller, Matt, is selling this. So, you know, he took out all the valuable stuff. I mean, he's just put in, you know, whatever he wants to put in. And you see pictures. Um, so, I don't like the stuff where it's by the private seller. I mean, he can go in there and remove whatever he wants. And now somebody's going to buy his stuff for 60 bucks. So I don't think, and again, I'm going to get K pros input on this. We're doing this together, but even though I just uh, landed this honor tonight, uh, this one's in Henderson. There we go. The high bid, this ends in 14 hours. Ooh, what do we got for a hundred? And again, it could jump to $500 by the end of the day. Who knows? Looks like horrible pictures. How, they took pictures of what's up top. Looks like a bunch of toys. Uh, can we get better pictures for God's sakes? Oh, there we go. Bunch of toys and Play-Doh. That's nothing. So you have to be selective. Who knows what's in that box? That box could be empty. These boxes and these totes could be these, um, what do you call these? Tote, tote uh, containers. I mean, it just looks like toys. So for 60 bucks, I might take a shot, but this is not what we're looking for. At least this is not what I think we're looking for. Okay, pro, you're going to have to weigh in on what you're looking for. Let's find one that we would actually, um, let's find one that we would actually. Yeah, that's the other thing, Jason, is you never know the manager of the storage unit. Are they going through it? It's, it's a gamble. You know, it's, it's a gamble looking for treasure. You're rolling the dice. Can you find that thing that is uh, awesome? Uh, that's worth a lot of money. Or could you just find something that's cool that you want to keep? I mean, look at this mess. It's $10. It ends in 14 hours. What do we got here? Oh, it's uh, whatever that is. And whatever that is, what is that? Is that a bed thing for a bed? The uh, wheels for a bed? We got an old thing. But I mean, for 10 bucks, you take a shot. 
oh, there's the frame. So with no mattress, so it's like an old bed frame. We got some uh, hubcaps or some tire wheel wells. Looks like a painting uh, and a pickaxe. So there, you know, you get five bucks for the pickaxe, I guess, on Craigslist. Uh, but these are not the ones I'm thinking about getting, right, Capro? We want the big ones. Let's look at one of the big ones. Now, the big ones can go for four or five hundred bucks. This is what you're looking for. I actually got into this back when the storage wars TV show first came out. Totes. Yeah, totes, right? Tots, totes. Yeah. Dishes, furniture, and now oh, Andy. Yeah. I mean, if we look, we want the ones that are packed like this one. This is $250. This is why it's $250. It's only a five by five unit, but look at it. Nobody's gone through that. This is packed. This is what you're looking for. Whoops. You're looking for the boxes that have not been opened. Uh, now that's coming open and we've got feathers. So there could be an Indian headdress in there from Forrest Fenn's collection. We don't know, but you're going to know when we buy one because we're going to go through it live and show you guys what we found. There could be a briefcase full of money. There could be a bunch of crap. There could be pennies. There could be nothing. There could be a bunch of baby clothes. You just don't know. But look at all these things. That to me, that's fun to go through it. Uh, is a lot of fun for me. I'm hoping K-Pro agrees that it's a lot of fun as well. Um, live auctions would be better. And I bet you at some point they'll go back to live auctions, but with COVID, I believe they're not. Um, also, at the end of this video, we are going to open the baseball cards, everybody. I made a video of the baseball cards people sent, so wait for it. Look at this pile of junk for 160 bucks. Again, we don't know what our bank is because we have to go to the coin star with our big thing full of coins. K-Pro may have some coins she wants to add to the collection. I don't know yet. I got to talk to her about this. But see, now there's a whole bunch of crap, but it looks like somebody went through it, right? Could it be the manager? Could it be the owner? There's a sweet shirt I could wear, a hoodie. <laughs> could it? Could the guy who owns this went through, we knew he was going to lose it, took the valuable stuff and booked is this guy in jail? Is that why, you know, why do people give up storage auctions? They, they move, they don't have the money, especially in Vegas. Think about it. You come to Vegas, you lose all your money on sex, drugs, women, gambling, whatever it is. Why do they say sex and women twice? I don't know. Um, yeah, there's that one. Let's see what's another really good one. Now this one looks interesting. It's only 10 bucks, but this one ends in one day and 21 hours. Look at these racks. We could use these racks in our garage just by themselves. That's $10. The racks are worth more than 10 bucks. Isn't that right, K-Pro? I know you're getting excited. Now, really, it's going to be this neat. This has got to be from a private seller. There's no way somebody left it like this. I mean, this is just towels and stuff. So yeah, this is not what we would. Yeah, all right. And that's what you got to watch for on this website is some of these are from private sellers and that's not what we're looking for. Let's see here. Pri yeah, private seller. Yeah, exactly. Private seller, NASCAR, private seller, private seller. What is this for 20 bucks? It's a treasure hunt. So this is what I encourage all of you to do. Get on the websites and look for the storage auctions in Vegas and email it to me. Say, this is the one you and K-Pro should get. And maybe we will. No promises. I don't know when we're going to do this, but we're definitely doing it. So this one is, this is furniture. What is this, a bookshelf? So I like how they blocked it in where you can't tell what the heck is in here. So this is a real mystery, but look how deep it goes. There's got to be a 10 footer. Um, now these could be empty, but why is somebody going to store an empty cooler in here? It's got to be full of something. We got a chair. We've got part of the fun. It's like a puzzle trying to see what this stuff is. See, this one's crammed. This would be a good one to go through. And if it takes us five trips with our two vehicles to get it all back home and in the garage, it takes five, oh, Amazon box right there. It takes five trips. Yeah, that's true. Especially Vegas. Vegas is a big retirement community. Everybody. A lot of people come to Vegas to retire. They, the grandkid, the kids and grandkids move out. So they put their stuff in storage and then they die. And then, you know, it's here. It's a circle of life. Private seller, private seller. Um, Look at this one for $10. This ends in eight, oh, eight days. So this one will go definitely higher. We just got a bunch of clothes. You just don't know. You got to go through the pockets of every single piece of clothing. There could be money in there, right? Pretty sure I was an original Eric Sloan painting. I'm telling you, right? So, ooh, 60 bucks. There we go. Let's see what this is. Uh, cellular charging label. Okay. But wouldn't it be fun to go through it? It's you guys remember Storage Wars. There's a cool. What is that? Is that a sign? Is that the back of something? Is that a poster? But we could use these racks in our garage. That's for sure. All kinds of stuff. Hardware examples. 
<clears throat> and then you just try and price it and you have a garage sale and you just blow it out. You just get your, there were usually there's one or two items that really get you your money back. Just like the comic books. Um, there's another website, actually. Let me look up the other one real quick. Just like we did with the comic book collection. Nah, Huli, it's not like that. You, I think me and K-Pro will be able to tell when we buy something. Once you get in there, you can tell, is it taken care of? Is it old? Does it got dust on it? How long it's been there? You know what I mean. You get an idea. If something's really nasty, you're right. We won't bring it back. Um, I saw a dead body in that last one. Uh, and the pages of every book. That's right. It's a treasure hunt. You got to find this stuff. So check this out. We bought a 10,000 book comic book collection. Uh, me and K-Pro, we made the business decision to buy this comic book collection. I don't think we ever said what we paid for it, but it was thousands of dollars. Nobody's letting a 10,000 comic books go for a hundred bucks. Uh, we went through it. We had some people go through it, pick some books out, did good on that. Somebody bought the entire collection from us. We've already made a profit, but check it out. For those of you who know comic books, these are the ones that are going on eBay. Ultimate, oh, can you see that? Ultimate Fallout number four. This is about a $500 book on eBay right now because it's the first appearance of Black Spider-Man. Hashtag me too. Check it out, NYX. Anybody knows anything about NYX? And I've got the first five right here. They know that this one right here if it's graded, this could be a thousand dollar comic book, but I'll put it on eBay and I'll put it for like one dollar and see how high it goes. Um, actually, I'll put all these five of these together, probably. And this is where our real profit is coming from, just from these couple of comic books. And then this one, Star Wars, Darth Vader, new, Darth Vader, newer, newer comic, but it's about an eighty dollar comic book. It's the first appearance of a doctor, somebody in the Star Wars universe. So like we did with the comic books. And those will go on eBay. Unless somebody wants to make me a reasonable offer for them, I'm open to suggestions. Those will go on eBay. So this is what we're going to try and do, everybody. We're going to use this change right here. You guys are going to guess how much is in it. Whoever's closest without going over, we're going to have a cool prize for you in a future show. We're going to use this money to, to buy a storage unit. Remember, whatever the max is, whatever this money is, we can't go over it. So that's going to limit us on what we can buy. <laughs> nice, Jason. Indy. And then we're going to vlog it. We're going to show you guys what we get. We're going to show you guys what we sell it for. And then we're going to hopefully make a profit and take that money and buy an even bigger storage unit. And here's the challenge. This is the real challenge. Can we turn this change that is in this uh, container right here into $5,000 by the end of the year? We have what? Nine months left between now and the end of the year. Can by using storage units or if we find another collection like the comic books, like whatever. But can we turn this amount, this couple hundred bucks, three, four, five hundred, whatever it is. I want to try to turn it into five grand. And I want to bring all you guys along of the ride with us so you can see exactly how we do that. What do you guys think of that idea? Is anybody out there purchased a uh, storage unit before? Let me look up the other. Let me look up the other website. This is the website that we were looking at before, K-Pro. <clears throat> There's really two main websites out here. Mm -mm -mm. Give me a minute. Anybody? Any experience? You know, it's getting nice out. Today was 80 degrees. It's going to be 80 degrees out in Vegas. It's nice. It is storage auction time. Okay, so this is the one we just looked at. Not that one. There we go. I think this is it. Ba, ba, ba. There we go. Here's the other website. Check this one out. And you guys, I want you to look. Bring it to my attention. Say, Calazars, this is the one you need to get. Check these out. This is all in Las Vegas. 160 bucks. Oh, this ends in 13 hours. Check this one out. This one's really cool because this one looks set up, doesn't it? Right now, it's at $160, highest bid. It ends at 930 tomorrow morning. But it's got like a, 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 a baby carriage thing. It's got a Jägermeister bar thing. It just seems too convenient that that's right there, right? I don't know. What, you know, these are these two TV boxes are probably empty, would be my guess. We got an old Christmas tree. Uh, there's a painting or picture of some kind. It just seems weird that this is just by itself. So the managers could be staging these. You know, managers could have already went through it. <coughs> Legally, they're not supposed to. Uh, but they do. GoFundMe would be easier, Brian says. But part of it is the fun of going through this stuff. Look at the guitar. The guitar, this Jägermeister bar thing, 
And that carriage right there is probably a hundred bucks, right? A couple hundred bucks, maybe. Amy Stiles says, my son and I were really into it. Now I have a 48 foot storage container full of stuff on my ranch. But did you sell any of it? Or are you like keeping it on purpose or what? Sounds like fun, storage, storage war fun, dollar, dollar, dollar bill. That's right, Jerry Stone. Yeah, I think it's cool. Um, it's it's a treasure hunt. It's just not like the thrill of the chase. It's not like a book where you have to solve clues. To me, this is easier than solving the Beacon Star. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Randy Pischel. <coughs> um, parlay Gonzaga and Brooklyn Nets as champions done. Is that right, Czar? Should I do that? Should I parlay Gazanga and Brooklyn Nets as well? Um, all right, let's look at a couple more of these. And then don't forget, we're going to open up some baseball packs. Uh, $30. And again, I bet. And, oh, here's the other thing. And I was getting this confused with eBay. eBay, when an auction ends, it ends. If somebody snipes in a bid in the last second, that, that auction ends. On um, these websites for storage units, if anybody bids within the three within the final three minutes, the end time extends another three minutes to give more people an opportunity to outbid them. It's usually in $10 increments. So that's how eBay should do it, right? If I really want something, I don't want somebody to jump in there at the last minute and then I don't have a chance to outbid them. But on these, and wouldn't it be cool to go live when me and K-Pro pick one and try and get it? We go live and show you guys if we get it or not live. So yeah, Ooh. jewelry, jewelry alone. Yeah, Amy Style says many great solid finds. Cash, jewelry, made tons of profit. That's what I'm talking about. I want to take the change that's doing nothing over here in the container, turn it in, buy a storage unit, and go from there. And hustle this thing into five grand is the goal by the end of the year. I was thinking 10 grand, but I thought that might be a little. We may get one storage unit and there's nothing of value in it when that's the end of the challenge. But we may not. So why is this one at $310? This is a five by five. Let's see. I don't know. Somebody just thinks 310. What do they see in here that made this bid up to $310? I wonder. So the other thing is you got to become experts on this stuff. And you also have to know who to talk to to sell it. I know who buys comic books. Me and K-Pro knows who wants old records. We have those kind of contacts. You just have to get in the community here in Vegas and get it networking with people to know who wants what. Um, and that's all part of it. Uh, but we also have a YouTube show so we can bring you guys along the journey with us. See, why would this be at 300? Uh, I don't see anything in here that would, um, make it go that high, but maybe that's just how high storage units go out here. I don't know. Let's see. 30, see, I'm talking about $30, $50. I want one of these. Look at this 90 bucks. A signed John Stockton basketball. How much do you think it's worth? I don't know, Hillary. I am not the person to ask. Uh, what's the 5K going to go towards? I don't know, Hooli. That could be like a trip to Disneyland or something. Or it could go to a new car, actually. Um, we would First, let's make the 5K, and then we'll figure out <laughs> what, uh, what to do with it. Now, these racks would be cool for the garage, right? We could actually use the racks. When's this end? This ends April 6th, so we've still got you know a whole week on this one. But I'm sure it's going to go up to a couple hundred bucks, don't you think? Let's see. Uh, who knows? I mean, these are just full of crap. Is it crap or is it something that's a collect? Well, it's Frosty the Snowman. How can you pass up Frosty? You hang on to this until Christmas time. You put it on Craigslist. Boom, that's ten dollars in the bank right there. I said boom. That's a chess board, maybe. Monop. Uh oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I zoom in on this? Oh, here we go. Look at right here. We've got Battleship. We've got Monopoly. We've got T-O-N. That looks familiar. Operation. We've got an operation board game. That's cool right there. If they have old stuff like that in here, who knows what else? Because these look like the Battleship and the Operation look like the original games from the 80s to me. Monopoly looks like it might be a newer box, but those look like older games. I have these games in my mom's basement. Uh, yeah, so this is one I would be interested in getting, to tell you the truth. Let's see. Oh, and they give you a description. Uh, yeah, the way it works, just so everybody knows, is you only have 72 hours to clear it out. You've got to give the storage unit people a $100 cleaning deposit. Once you're done and they see it's clean, they give you the $100 back. But yeah, 72 hours, unless you're going to rent this storage unit, you got to get it out. You got to empty it. So, okay, what do we got? Uh, 
Oh yeah. Anything personal birth certificate, passport, driver's license, photo albums, bank statements supposed to be returned back to the property manager. So if the person ever does show up, they can give it to them. Um, now, okay. This just says household goods. Cause that's all I guess it is. <clears throat> Make 10 grand and then buy into the World Series of Poker. Copper Dan, from your mouth to God's ears. Uh, God, something like that. From your lips to God's ears. Yeah, maybe. Your best customers will be giving you 250 bucks. Shipping containers are next. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I don't know. Because we have to let Capro weigh in, right? I ain't doing anything unless Capro wants to do it with me. So this is my idea. Um, and we're still going to work. We're still we're doing treasure hunts. We're still working on the treasure hunt amusement park, but this is a different kind of treasure hunt. Now look at this. So somebody cleared it out and this is what's left over. Right. But for 50 bucks, I mean, it's 30. What would it go up to 50? Maybe. Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, there's a step ladder, but this other stuff. Yeah. I don't think I would bid on something like that, but if anybody out there has got tips or tricks, uh, let me know what I'm supposed to be looking for here. Look at the, oh, look at this 1200 bucks. 1200 really i mean look at it there's a ton of stuff but you know, oh and these boxes look brand new look at that they don't look like they've been opened hmm. 1200 bucks though yikes well that is not maybe we'll build up to that but this is not something we would be doing right away i know there ain't 1200 bucks in the old coin jar but uh that's interesting you know there's people that do this full time they probably have a store thrift store they probably do this to sell it that type of thing 1460 bucks. Wow. Let's see. Let's see what it is. This ends April 6th. So we have a chair wrapped in plastic and a bunch of boxes. Oh, it's deep. It's 10 by 25. This goes 25 feet deep. That's why it's so much. I mean, 20 and 20 within 25 feet of packed boxes, you got to find something, right? So that must be why. Um, they cost so much. The key is the higher price lo locations will most likely have the best contents. So a lot of these are in Henderson, which is a nicer area, uh, probably nicer than North Las Vegas. Some are in Summerlin and some are in Boulder City. <clears throat> and all I can say is I know Boulder City is a um, retirement community for a lot of people. Now, look at this mess. <laughs> and this, you just throw the stuff in the truck. You just get it back into your garage and you try and sort through it. $80. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a gamble. But uh, you could say me and K-Pro are gamblers. Look at this one. Now, see, something like this is what I would look at. Something that's nice and neat. They're, they're you know what I mean? They're kind of stacked up. There's a bicycle in there. There's two bicycles in there. Uh, a little panda, teddy bear, whatever that is, a basketball. It's just what's in all these totes. We just don't know. Are they clothes? Are they appliances? Are they coin collections? You know, you there's some toilet paper and there's a, probably a dog cage. So that's the idea. You guys get it. Anybody out there that sees an auction that says, hey, you guys should get this. It's got to be in Vegas, in the Vegas area. Let me know. Here's one for furniture. And I don't know if we want to get into furniture right away. But uh, we could, I know we got to invest in a good pair of gloves and a dolly would, would be the first thing. But uh, yeah, that's the idea. And why not just use spare change that's laying around the house to jump into it? So Jay Master says, I'm sorry, I'm addicted. Addicted to what? Better deals when there is no internet bidding. Well, I used to go in person. I used to go to them in 10 years ago. And, the, you know, you get two people and they would bid it up. I mean, if somebody really wants it. I was at one that went for 1200 bucks, but it would really look like vintage stuff in there too. Uh, family storage lockers, cheap shit. All right, Carrie Galloway, you want to look for themes like antique collector. Well, yeah, but how do you tell by looking at it? That's the question is how do you know which ones to bid on? I'm sure there's certain tips and tricks that you look for. So again, I'm going to put the Facebook group in the chat. If you guys want to have some fun, guess how many coins are in this picture behind me. And that includes everything that's in the container back there. Whoever's closest without going over, we're going to give a gift. And we're going to have a future show. We're going to do a giveaway show. We're going to give back to the community. We'll have details on that later on. Um, here's the other thing I want to say. So copperdan19 at gmail.com for Mr. Joel. We got the coin contest on Facebook. The other thing I want to do, and me and Capro meaning to do this, so I'm just going to do it now, and that is say thank you to everybody who sent us something 
off our wedding registry. I'm about to show the baseball card opening, all the stuff you guys sent baseball card wise, but I just want to give everybody else a thank you that sent something and the problems. I'm in love with the show and what it, Jay, Jay, do you mean storage wars? I don't know what show you're talking about. Um, uh, yeah, the problem with saying thank you is you're always going to forget somebody. So if I forget, you no, it was not on purpose, but I'm going to go through these thank you notes that we have. Um, actually, these are not thank you notes. These are actually the receipts and say thank you right now. Uh, so here we go. Brad and Jana, thank you very much. We're trying to go through these real fast. Uh, we did get what you sent. Eleanor, and I'm going to got to remember to use first names only, as K-Pro tells me. Sam and the Fen Film Gang. Thanks, guys. Fen Film Gang. Matt from Michigan and the other Matt. Thank you guys for the two different things you sent. Uh, Dustin and Deidre, thank you very much. Um, uh, Stephen Bree, we appreciate it. Uh, Debbie, Chrissy and Jeremy. Uh, uh, uh. Billy, Shaw, and Jessica. And guys, we were blown away by the stuff you guys sent. We couldn't believe it. Uh, and we really do appreciate it. Lorraine. Thank you. Da, da, da. And I know I'm going to forget somebody, so don't take it personal. Thank you to everybody who came to World Series of Fan, came to our wedding reception and sent us something in the mail. Uh, Robert, thank you so much for the gift you sent. Kathy, Kathy here in Vegas. Thank you. Uh, and I wish I could say exactly what it was and all that, but it would take forever. Craig, thank you. Thomas, Milan, thank you very much. Um, uh, Birdie, thank you. Nora, Brian, baseball cards, thanks. <laughs> I never did get a Barry Sanders. You'll see. Um, uh, Tim, thank you very much. Uh, Carrie, and as we go through the list here, ba -ba -ba. Uh, holy, thank you very much for what you sent. And it wasn't a gag gift either. I was serious. Uh, that's holy again. Thank you for the people who sent more than one thing. There was a lot of people who did that. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Still looking, still going through. Thank you to Tim, uh, my best man and the gift he gave us. Uh, Captain Marvel and Lucky Digger. Thank you very much. Um, ba -ba -ba. Going through, going through. And I know I'm going to miss somebody. Mark and Lisa. Thank you so much. And thank you, Mark and Lisa, for something else you gave us recently. Uh, Diana. <clears throat> do, do, do. Uh, uh, uh. Patricia. Uh, Tim again. Same Tim. Uh, Leslie. And there's so many other people. I know I'm forgetting a ton of people. Uh, thank you. We really do appreciate it. Okay. Thumbs up for storage auctions. Thumbs up for Coinstar. Thumbs up for counting all these coins. <laughs> You think it's that much, Minotaur? He says $1,483. I mean, I know it's a lot right here, but $500, $600? I just, I really don't know. It makes me realize I have no, I really have no clue. I think it's going to be around $450 is my guess, around $450. But I'll definitely record it and we'll definitely let you guys know. Okay. What else? I know. Oh, here's talking about purchasing thing, things and reselling them. Check out what I put on eBay, everybody. First thing I'm going to do is put the link in the chat, but you don't have to go to the link right now because I'm going to show you what it is. This is this is breaking news. First time ever. First time it's ever been done in the history of Chase Opoly. 262. No, why'd you lower it to 262? Don't get my hopes up. 326. Mr. Clue knows something about coins. On eBay, I listed Chase Opoly, but I didn't just list Chase Opoly. I listed a box of Chase Opoly's. And if you see in this picture right here, there are six in a box. Cow lasers. Cow lasers. Why would anybody buy six Chase Opoly's? Would you crazy? Well, think about it. One, they're awesome gifts. And these are shrink wrapped directly from a manufacturer. Starting bid of $50. It is an auction. It ends. I just listed it. It'll end Monday night. Uh, but why in the world would anybody buy a box of six? Because they're great gifts. So what if you have parents, grandparents, cousins, aunts and uncles that all went boots on the ground? What a better gift now that the Thrill of Chase is over is to give them all Chase Opley, the Thrill of the Chase board game. And there is Forrest Doodle right there that he drew just for Chase Opley. 
But here's the other thing. It's also a perfect resell opportunity. Resell or resale? I guess it's a resale. If you guys have a retail store, if you have something where that you sell, this is a one of a kind item. So buy six from us for 50 bucks. Boom, you could sell these for $39.99 each or whatever. Once you buy them, you do with them whatever you want to do with them. But there it is. I thought instead of doing them one at a time, why not throw a box up? A uh, box of six Chase Opelies. There it is. Although that it is, you're going to have to pay for shipping. And the box is about 19 pounds. So shipping is going to be a little bit. But just pay for whatever it is to ship it to you is what we're going to do. Okay. Yeah, it reminded me of Chase Opley, the thrill of the Chase board game. All right. Uh, that will end next Monday. Okay. Here we go. Baseball card opening. You baseball card, sports card, because there's football cards too. You sports card experts, let me know if any of this is means something or is valuable. Because I don't know anything about sports cards. I did find some pieces of gum. And what I say in the video is, if this video gets 100 likes while I'm live, I'm going to eat that gum. That gum's from 1991. I don't think we have any. And we have to worry about that, do we? So here we go without further ado. And I'll come back on after the. Uh... No, Jerry Capro was on assignment in Santa Fe, New Mexico. She's on her way back right now. She may even show up while we're live. But uh, she went to Santa Fe in the next live show we do. She will tell you all about her Santa Fe trip and why she went out there and what she found. And so make sure you subscribe, make sure you thumbs up and make sure you ring the bell. The bell's next to the subscription button. So, you know, when we go live, uh, K pro is on her way back right as we speak. And she's probably in the chat room. There she is. She's driving back from Santa Fe. Hey, K pro. What do you think of the storage auction idea? <laughs> all right, here we go. These are the baseball cards you guys sent. Anybody bid on this? Oh, no bids. Okay. And here we go. Okay, everybody. A big thank you to everybody who sent baseball cards on me and K-Pro's wedding registry. I added baseball cards. Don't hate me for it. It was an awesome idea. You know you love it. And this is what we got. So thank you to everybody who sent it. And we're going to open it right now. There could be a million dollars in one of these boxes. 91 Fleer. We'll do that one last. Okay. Two, not one, but two 2020 baseball tops cards. Look for autographs and relics. So anybody that's a expert out there, if one of these cards is a good one, please let me know because I am by no means an expert. Wrong side of the box. Uh, so yeah, just let me know what you think. If anybody's interested in any of these, a deal can always be made. I know somebody's out there saying, don't open the boxes, hold on to them for 10 years. But nah, we, they were sent as a gift. I want to open them. Uh, hey, pro, they're yours too, but I'm opening them. You can watch the video later. All right, here we go. Hopefully you guys can see everything all right. Never did a video of opening baseball cards before, so it's a first time for everything, isn't it? And here we go. All right, let's do it like this. Nolan Arondo, Colorado Rockies. Okay. Julie Chassin, Minnesota Twins. I have no idea what that means. Hey, we got a Mark McGuire, St. Louis Cardinals, 1999 home run derby. Okay. Louis Silverino, New York Yankees. Jose Martinez, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Josh Harrison, Phillies, Jorge Lopez, the Kansas City Royals, Cameron Mabin, Detroit Tigers. That's my team. Well, that's where I'm from anyway. It's been rough having them as a team. The Rays, Randy Arrasalarina, Kyle Wright. we got a landscape card. Kyle Wright, Atlanta Braves, Max Scherzer, all-star game. So I don't know what a relic is. It says look for autographs. I know what that is. Oh, relic is when it's got a piece of the jersey, right? Wouldn't that be cool? I think it's a piece of something. Game worn, game worn gear. Get Kevin Ginkle, Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, Arlodis Chapman, New York Yankees. A lot of these are landscape, which is odd to me. Pittsburgh Pirates, Derek Holland. Anthony Rizzo from the Chicago Clubs. There's an all star game. Tim Locastro, oh, Locastro, the Diamondbacks. 
uh, 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 uh. L.A. Dodgers. Rookie debut, 9-2, 2019, Gavin Lux. I wonder if we got Mike Trout in here. Albert Pujols, Angels. I believe he played for the Tigers at one point. Zach Wheeler, Phillies. Nestor Cortez, Seattle Mariners. Adiania Hachidaveria, Atlanta Braves. Still looking for those relics or autographs. We got Justin Verlander, another ex-Tiger, Houston Astros. Didn't they win a... Uh, Anyway, uh, Todd Frazier, Texas Rangers. Adolis Garcia, Texas Rangers. That bat sure looks photoshopped, doesn't it? What's going on there? Logan Morrison, Milwaukee Brewers. Like my announcer voice. Hey, now. Kyle Gibson, Texas Rangers. Inaugural season. Robinson Chirinos, Texas Rangers. Uh, let's see, Antonio Senzaleta, Colorado Rockies. Drew Butera, Colorado Rockies. I wonder if we did it by team. I mean, what team do we not have? Decades best batters, Freddie Freeman, Atlanta Braves, Adam Angle, Chicago White Sox. Uh, this is a 35-year anniversary. Yoshi Sutsugo from the Rays. Huh. 2020, but it's a 35th anniversary card. Okay. Uh, Fisk. Prominent baseball players, Carlton Fisk, Chicago White Sox. Munson, Thurman Munson of New York. I've heard Carlton Fisk and Thurman Munson. I'm sure you guys have too. Musina and Boggs, Boston and Baltimore. So these are prominent baseball players. Generating base and ball is not one word. Nolan Jones, not Nolan Ryan, Nolan Jones, Indiana. Actually, how about Indians, huh? How about not Indiana? How about Indians? How about Cleveland Indians? Anyway, Yadir Molina, Cardinals. All right, I'm going to go through and just see. It says look for autographs and relics. So I'm looking. I'm looking for autographs and relics. And I'm not seeing any. How about you guys? You never know what you're going to get. This is just like another kind of treasure hunt. All right. Doesn't look like we got one. But guess what? We got another box. Kent Job Maida, Minnesota Twins. Todd Frazier, Cincinnati Reds. Chris Ionetta, Yankees. Miles Straw, Houston Astros. Astros. Rut Row Raggy. Nico Horner, Chicago Cubs. Jerry Rodriguez, Cleveland Indians. Now, see, I wonder if any of these are rookies, and then, you know, 10 years from now, these could be worth something. Dario Agrazal, Detroit Tigers. Never heard of them. Michael Hermosillo, the Angels. Nick Turley, Pittsburgh Pirates. And baseball cards are going through the roof right now. Joe Panic, Toronto Blue Jays. Kyle Ryan, Chicago Cubs. Josh Taylor, Boston Red Sox. Robert Stevenson, Cincinnati Reds. Sean Poppin, Minnesota Twins. Michael Fulmer, Detroit Tigers. I do know that one. Bo Bichette, Toronto Blue Jays. Jesus or Jesus, I'll accept either answer. Aguilar, Miami Marlins. Alex Bregman, Houston Astros. Kyle Hagashiako, New York Yankees. Cody Bellinger, Los Angeles Dollar, Dodgers, not Dollars, Dodgers, Josh Lindblom, Milwaukee Brewers, Pedro Martinez, Boston Red Sox, Yossi Mirero, Biet, Oakland Athletics, Chris Sale, now there's a plain name, Chris Sale, Boston Red Sox, Kyle Crick, Pittsburgh Pirates, Albert Pujols, he used to play for Detroit, the Angels, Steve Chisek, Chicago White Sox, Frank Schwindel, Detroit Tigers, and last but not least, Brian Johnson, Boston Red Sox. Okay, so we didn't get a relic, or I thought these were supposed to be guaranteed. Isn't that how it works? Uh, maybe not. I don't know. It's been look for autograph and relic. May contain redemption cards with redemption dates. Okay, 67 cards. Packs with a special insert may contain only 60 to 65 cards. All right, let's try it. Box number two, 
And don't forget, we still got the vintage, the 91 flare. Who knows how many packs are in here and from what year? Who knows what we should be looking for in a 91 flare pack? Who knows? Somebody out there knows. I don't know if anybody watching right now knows. But I'll shop it around. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's going to tell me where the million dollar card is. Or even the $20 card would be nice. Thank you again, everybody who sent them. Some people thought it was a gag. Hooli, I'm looking at you, but it really wasn't. All right, here we go. Chris Ionetta, New York Yankees. Miles Straw, Houston Astros. You guys see that all right? Nico Horner, Chicago Cubs. Jerry Rodriguez, Cleveland Indians. Dario Agrazel, Detroit Tigers. I think that's a duplicate. Michael Hermosillo, the Angels. Nick Turley of the Pirates. Chesler Cuthbert of the White Sox. Let's flip this over. Gabe Spear, the Kansas City Royals. Alex Verdugo, Boston Red Sox. Jose Iglesias, Baltimore Oreos, again with the Photoshop bat. Okay. Jonathan Villar, Miami Marlins, Anthony Rendon, Angels. Make sure you guys can see this all right. Franchi Cordero, the Pirates. Edwin and Cesaroni, Encarnacion, the White Sox, Chicago. Wade LeBlanc, Baltimore Oreos. Joe Panic, Blue Jays. Kyle Ryan, Blue Jays. Josh Taylor, Red Sox. I think I got those right. Rowdy Talez, Blue Jays, Chris Martin, Atlanta Braves. Everybody want to be in the Atlanta Brave. Hunter Renfor, Tampa Bay Rays. Jared Walsh of the Angels. Wilmer Flores. Miguel Cabrera, Tigers. I don't even know if he's playing anymore. Yes, Grandel, White Sox. Nick Dinney, Royals. Greg Holland, Kansas City Royals. Okay, now we go into these. Seaver of New York, prominent baseball players. Uh, what do we got here? Max Scherzer, Nationals. Uh, decades best day batter, David Ortiz. We don't know that name. 35th year anniversary athletics, Jesus or Jesus Lazardo. Simeon, Simeon, Marcus Simeon, Oakland Athletics. Seaver, Alvarez. And McCovey of the San Francisco. Those are the prominent players. Brady Singer, the Royals. Let's look, see, look through and see if we got an autograph or not. Da, da, da. Mm, mm, mm. It's just another treasure hunt, everybody. That's all it is. A different kind. We got a Ken Griffey Jr. What? Ken Griffey Jr., Seattle Mariners, home run derby, 1999. Hmm. Okay. Whenever you see Ken Griffey Jr., you have to pause, right? I know that much. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I'm not seeing an autograph or a relic, which is unacceptable. But that's just how it goes, everybody. That's just how it goes in the world of collecting. Okay. Let's do this. Up next, we have three bros in a card store, official vintage pack starter kit. Each box contains never opened vintage packs. I did not realize that's what this was. All right, let me open it. It's never before been opened. Oh, it's actually individual packs. Look at that. Whoa, look at all the packs, everybody. Now that's fun. Come on, they're stuck in there. They don't want to come out. Okay. Okay. Look at all these packs and packs and packs. Oh, we got football. We got baseball. We got all kinds of stuff. And look at this. We got a we got a rookie card, authentic autograph, tight end number 45. Who is that? DJ Williams. No idea. Uh, <laughs> football, senior bowl, number 45. Somebody tell me who DJ Williams is, authentic autograph. All right. A75, it's not tops, it's Sage, whatever that is, SLC. Okay, we're going to put that over here. Well, thanks, three guys, three bros in a card shop. 1991 player flashcards, 10 super high gloss cards. 
Okay. I know what you're saying out there. Don't open it. Don't do it. And if there's any gum in these, I am not going, well, maybe I'll eat it. No, I'm not going to eat it. I don't want salmonella or whatever it is. Okay. These look old school. We've got some Pacific, little damaged Pacific cards. Uh, Bubby Brister, Boomer Asai, Esaline, Asayan, quarterback Boomer Asayan. Yeah. Asayasin? How do you say his last name? Okay. What is this from? Seven out of four. Oh, these are flashcards. I see. These aren't actual real cards. You know what I'm saying? They're flashcards. They're like little trivia cards. Okay. That's kind of cool. Football. Special 1,000 year club, 1,000 yard club uh, football. 89 from 89. 89 football. What are we thinking, guys? Um, oh, and there it is, everybody. There it is. Should I eat it? Should I eat it? I'll tell you what, everybody. When I show this video, if we get 100 thumbs up. I'll eat the gum. You heard it here first. I'm going to put it right there, right here where you can see it. Boop. If we get 100 thumbs up while I'm live on this video, I'll eat the gum. That's a Kalazar's promise. Okay, what do we got here? We've got, I didn't realize there was as many packs. Jeez. We've got Icky Woods, Chris Chandler, Marcus Allen, Simon Fletcher, Lorenzo Hampton, John Elway from 91. Yeah, John Elway from 1989, John Elway. Are these worth anything? I have no idea. Doug Flutie, we all know that one, don't we? John Telschick, no idea. Stanley Morgan, Boomer Esiason, there he is again. James Hasty, Doug Williams, Bill Bates, Greg Townsend. Somebody tell me what these are worth, because I don't know. Looks like the majority of these are going to be football, everybody, and that's okay. How about the refrigerator Perry? How about uh, Barry Sanders of the Lions? You know what I'm saying? How about, um, what's his name? Uh Oh, what's his name? Halftime at the Super Bowl. Ah, we'll get his card. Okay, Seattle Seahawks safety, Nesby Glasgow. You guys see this? Chip, la, 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 la. Terrence Mathis, Keith Sherman, never heard of these people. Tim Green, uh, Christian Okoye, Lionel Washington, Lewis Oliver, Fred Strickland, Mike Coffer, no idea who these people are. Icky Woods, again, Kelvin Martin, what are the odds of getting Icky Woods twice? Shannon Sharp, well, we know Shannon Sharp. There's one of the halftime guys I was talking about. I was thinking of the white guy. Jeff Query, Steve DeBerg, Marcus Allen. I've heard of Marcus Allen. I think he was a Black Panther. Randall Cunningham, I met Randall Cunningham. Hey, I met Randall Cunningham in... um. Here, okay, I'll tell you a story. Here in in uh, Las Vegas, I was at uh, um, uh, Zabas. I was at Zabas. Guy comes in, orders a big order. I mean, like a $100 order, tips 20 bucks, leaves. They're like, that's Randall Cunningham from the Philadelphia Eagles. They're like, he comes in here all the time, orders food. They get a, for some kind of party he does once a week. Okay, Bubby Brister, Nate Lewis, Bubba Paris, a lot of Bubba's in the NFL. Kevin Murphy, John Williams, Kevin Ross, hey now. Steve Wisen, Whiskey, Richmond Webb, Frank Stamos, no, Frank Stams, <clears throat> Scott Studwell, and Dave Meggett. Anybody? Anybody ringing a bell? We got one. What's the over under on pieces of gum in this thing, everybody? What do you think? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, eight. We had 20 packs in this thing. 20 looks like all football packs. And that's okay. Sports cards are sports cards. And I just bent the corner on that card. That's great. Randall Cunningham. There he is again. Fleer 90. Mark Clayton. Howie Long. Eugene Lockhart. And I also met Bubba Smith in, in Philadelphia. Bubba Paris. Let's see if Bubba Smith's in here somewhere. Lorenzo White. Dennis Smith. Pat Leahy. Richard A. Walt. Mark Robinson. Grant Easel. Fleer. Christian Akoi. Eddie Murray. Uh, Lions. Wow. Place kicker. I do not know him. Jim Covert. Okay. All right. This is going to be a long one, I see. And don't don't tune out because at the end, I'm going to go over the K-Pro Kalazar's Challenge. You'll see what it is. Uh, Raiders 27, Eagles 10. Super Bowl, is that 15? Who remembers it? Or is that? I have no idea. Okay. Roman, num Roman numerals are hard. Paul Gruber, Reggie Dupard, Mark Clayton, 
Mark Bavaro, Rufus Porter, Darren Nelson. Where's OJ? Well, OJ's probably being, yeah, OJ's back in the 70s, right? Jim Covert, Dwayne Bickett. Sorry if I triggered anybody. Anthony Munez, Pat Ryan. I'm just saying. Stanley Morgan, Chris Hitton, Carl Zander, and whatever that is. All right. Moving right along, we've got the 1990 16 player cards per pack score. 1990 score. Courtney Hall, Chargers. Remember, 1990. Roland James, Dan Warren, Carl Zander, Mike Quick, Louis Sharp, Anthony Munez again, Jerry, Jerry Rice. There we go. Jerry Rice. Uh, David Falker, Broderick Thomas, Scott Mitchell, Charles Arbuckle, not to be confused with Fatty, Tim Grunhard, Pat Beach, Michael Carter, and Mel Owens. What was that show, Son of a Beach? Wasn't that a Howard Stern thing? I don't know. Okay, next up we've got photo and st- one Super Bowl collectible, one extra point game piece. This is the pro set, 14 cards, doesn't have a year. Let's find out. I don't know what that is. Everson Walls, Bubba Paris. Christian Okoye, Stacy Bailey, John L. Williams, Carl Banks, Jim Jensen, Raymond Clayboy, Randy Grimes, Rand Bujuda, Ruben Lava, Lukaku, Mike Singletary. Okay. See, I know a little bit more baseball. 1991, Upper Deck. And I know Upper Deck. I used to have a collection of 100,000 sports cards. And I know there were some Jordans in there. And I know there were some Kobe Bryants. But that was another life. And I had to sell them all. All together, it was enough. It was a lot. It was like to fit on a pallet. But that's what we do. That's what we do over here. But this was a long time ago. Anyway, Joe Montana, football heroes, 1987 first passing tile. Steve Christie, Rom Reifman, Hassan Jones, Mark Carrier, Bruce Armstrong, Reggie Roby, Pat Leahy, Gary Clark, Kenneth Davis, Charles Mann. Okay. Uh huh. So far, one piece of gum. Fleer, 1990. Willie Anderson, Thurman Thomas, Flex Wright, Derek Thomas, John Taylor, Johnny Meads, Wilbur Marshall, David Fulker, David Charlwell, Burt Grossman, Donald Thompson, Jeff George, Stanley Morgan. Stanley Morgan, okay. Michael Singletary, Trey Aikman. Hey, Trey Aikman, quarterback. Troy Aikman, 1990, Fleer, quarterback. Who knows what that's worth? I have no idea. Okay, here we go. It's 85 degrees in Las Vegas, everybody. Hey, we're a little backed up on the 15. Here we go. Sorry, that's my announcer voice. Anthony Carter, definitely heard of him, the Vikings. Gary Clark, Howie Long. Howie Long, what was I talking about, right? Although I was talking about the other the other white guy on the halftime Super Bowl. Howie Long from 89. Mike Tomzak, Chris Carter. Eric Martin, Gil Bird, Paul Gruger, Reggie Dupard, Mark Clayton, Mark Mark Rufus Porter, Darren Nelson, Ricky Byron. So we've got a couple of the guys. You know who I'm talking about. Well, one, there's Madsen, right? Uh, he, uh, I don't know when the heck he played, but I'm talking about the, the white guy losing his hair. He's in all the commercials. It's on the Super Bowl halftime show. His name is escaping me, but we all know him. Mark Bavaro. Well, this, these are uh, different cards for sure. You can just tell the way they feel is different. Leroy Howard, Webster Slaughter, there's a name. Broderick Thomas, Warren Moon, Jamie Holland. I didn't think of basketball cards. Sean Jones, Walter Reeves, Keith McCants, Eric Andalski from the Lions. Raiders stay in L.A. Davis announces Coliseum Accord. Okay. And then Harvey Martin. I got no clue on these guys. Somebody out there help me out. Uh, 12 super premium NFL football cards, top super color, 1994, the year I got out of the Navy. I wasn't collecting baseball cards. I was on an aircraft carrier. Here we go. Derek Brown. Now these are glossy. Ooh, Stan Humphreys, David Alexander, Eric Davis, Steve Wisniewski, Charles Haley, Lincoln Kennedy, He was hiding. 
Great expectations. Elam. Wayne Gandy. No idea. Humphrey. Ricky. Ricky Waters. Ricky Waters. All right. Why did we only get one piece of gum? That's what I want to know. If these are actually never been opened, why is there no gum? Getting down to the end, Mark Malone, Dan Turk, Brent Williams, Mark Brown, Terry Kennard, Bruce Schlotch, Mel Owens, Billy Frolic, Dan Hampton, Ronald Donaldson, Leon White, Jojo Tonzel, John Robinson, and Reggie White. We're down to just a couple packs left. We've got action-packed football cards, the gold standard. 24-karat gold stamped cards, randomly packed, 1991. Okay. If you believe that, do you? Oh, it won't open. There we go. Rip that sucker. Oh, these actually are gold. Look at that. I got Dan Marino right on the back. This could be the gold mine. Christian Akoy. Akoy -ya -ya -ya. Akoy -ya -ya. Uh, This, we probably had this guy's card more than anybody so far. Derek Thomas, Barry Word, Cleveland Gary, Dan Marino, quarterback. Huh? Huh? What? Yeah, Dan Marino, quarterback. Number 144, 1991. Somebody tell me what that's worth right now. Look it up. Let me know in the chat. Put that over there. 1990 football cards. Do da, do da. 1990 football cards. Oh, do, 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 do. I can't. I should have had somebody open for these for me before we started, huh? But then it wouldn't be a true like opening video. You know what I'm saying? Dan Majalaluski, Mike Klein, Keith Seth Joyner, Chris Dolman, Mark Duper, Bob Golick, Eric Howard, Bobby Brister, Tom, Pete Hallahan, Mark Kelso, Tim Manoa, Christian Okoye, Pierce Holt, Ennis Gervins, and Mark May. Okay, we're getting down to it. Pro Set Platinum, 1991. So all these are early 90s. Um, Something tells me this is going to be the one, though. This is the one. You only got four packs left. Get over here. All right, here we go. These are pretty packed in here, pretty tight. Pretty. Oh, you hear that? Pretty tight. Mark Carrier. Bryce. David Grayson. Lions. Lions, they're stuck together, everybody. That's how old these are. Uh, Lions, Robert Clark, no idea. Bubba McDowell. Todd Marinovich, Mark Collins, Ricky Jackson, Al Nega, no idea. Jim McMahon, and Bill Brooks, everybody. So we just got an assortment of all kinds of cards. You know how hard it is to try and go through 100,000 uh, cards and sort them? How do you sort them? Do you sort them by player? Do you sort them by team? Do them by year? I mean, you know, so that's <laughs> – I tried those. I got pictures of uh, me and Chris doing it when he was young. Uh, Mark Logan, Dolphins, Al Toon, Jets, Gene Lang, Lawrence Till, Herschel Walker, hello. No idea. Mike Singletary, I've heard that one. Art Monk, Alfonso Kekaker, Tony Jordan, Mike Wilcher, Darian Connor, Tracy Rocker, Darian Nelson, Irv Pankey, good old Irv Pankey. wonder where he's at now. Probably on Fremont Street. All right. We're almost there, everybody. Hang on, because we got big, big news once the pack opening is done. Ernest Givens, Oilers, Irving Fryer, Courtney Hall. John Forcade, Mike Rosier, Eugene Robinson, Gary Zimmerman, Bob St. Clair, Randall Cunningham again with the Eagles. Come on, they're sticking. They don't want me to know they're sticking. There we go. Ricky Nadiel, Bobby Butler, not Bobby Boucher, Troy Benson, the class of 90, Richmond Webb, Clarence K., Jerry Robinson, Mari Buford. Two more packs. Okay, Jim Jeffcoat, Morton Anderson, Otis Anderson, are they related? Jerome Brown, Bill Brooks, Mike Harden, Vince Newsom, Scott Redick, Charles Haley, Alonzo Highsmith, 
Karen Craig and Troy Benson, Roy Green, Lars Tate, and Norm Johnson. Woo! I don't know if I'm going to get this done in time for the show. We got left. All right. Last pack of that one. Last pack. Scott Studwell, Vikings. Don Warren, Chip Lowmiler, James Wharton, Mike Merriweather, Freeman McNeil, Mark Carrier, Dave Meggett. Eddie Murray, John Grimsley, Alexander Wright, Lamar Layton, blah, 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 blah. Dan Salalodala, Al Fohal, Gerald Williams. Okay. All right. Last one, guys. This is all empty. Last one. And this is this kind of vintage. Basically, it is the same thing as this. They just put a bunch of packs in. Why is it football? I don't know. Let's see what we got. A million dollars. And these look like they are baseball. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, seven packs from the early 90s. Here we go. We got a 91 Fleer baseball. Hey, it's 85 degrees in Vegas, everybody. It was a hot one. If you don't have a pool, get in the shower. Okay, we got a Mets sticker, everybody, right there. Mets. John Ollard, Pat Riley, Pat Kelly, Dwight Smith. Gerald Young, Keith Miller, Daryl Irvine, Paul Ferries, Francisco Cabrera, Rob Dribble, Junior Noboa, no idea, Robbie Thompson, Chuck Noblock, Leo Gomez, and Tony Gwynn. Okay. And here we have a Series 2 leaf with three puzzle pieces. Open, you son of a bitch. Put this tape. There we go. All right. Pack. Puzzle piece. That's kind of cool. Uh, Eddie Zosky. Why is this one flipped over? Eddie Zosky, Junior Felix, Cal Ripken. We got a Cal Ripken, everybody. 1991. Somebody look it up. Tell me in the chat. Don Mattingly. Heard of him. Mitch Williams, Kevin Brown, Eric Bullock, Greg. Bob Chuwerski, Andy Lowson, Bob Walk, Mike Fielder, Candy Maldonado, Alvin Davis, and David Rode. Cal Ripken, Cal Ripken, 91 Fleer. No idea. Anybody's interested in these? Let me know. We got four, one, two, three, four, five packs left, everybody. Open. You got to yell at it. Anybody ready for Dune to come out? I am. The movie. Okay, Mickey Morandini, Mike Skiaskia, Joe Oliver, Mark Lemke, Ivan Rodriguez. They're sticking. Jay Booner, Pat Borders, Daryl Kyle, Tim Burke, Terry Shumpert, Melinda Perez, Mike Fielder. Okay, 91 tops. A 91 tops. 1991, I was in. Fort Meade, Maryland. Not, oh, we got gum, everybody. We got gum. Remember, if we get 100 likes while this video is live, I will eat that gum. And I may get salmonella. You never know. Willie, oh, Willie Wilson. I'll say Willie Nelson. Willie Wilson. Daryl Hamilton. Steve Balboni. Greg Harris, Tom Edens, Dave Stewart, Gerard, Gerald Perry, Greg Maddox. We know that one, right? Greg Maddox, 91 tops. Herm Winningham, Randy Myers, Charles Nagy, Brian Downing, Ozzy Guin, 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 Guyen, Luis Zalazar, and Nelson Santamaviva. Three packs left, everybody. Three packs. So what could the challenge be? What could the K-Pro Kalazar's challenge be? You're going to find out. Here we got some cool punch outs, which you, they're stickers. That's kind of cool. Okay, Kevin Rintz, Ben McDonald, Dave Smith, Mike Moore, Ken Patterson, Dwayne Murphy, Kevin Brown, John Schmoltz, Boston Igniters, Wade Boggs, and Mike Greenwell. Okay. John Costella, Brad Kalminski. Come on. Dwight Gooden and Phil Bradley. Last two. 
last two. Another puzzle piece. Frank DePino, Pete in Caviglia, Tim Nierdurnafjord, Dave Schmiff, Ricky Henderson. We all know Ricky Henderson. Kelly Downs, Donnie Moore, Mike Griffin, Wayne Juan, Juan Castillo, Eddie Murray, Tim Burke, Jeff Reed, Dave Martinez, Bob Boone, and Robin Yount. The very last pack, everybody. The very last pack. Thank you to everybody who sent these. It's been a lot of fun opening them. A little trip down memory lane. Bob Boone, Todd Benzinger, Eddie Murray's in here a lot. Oh, we got a hologram thing. Okay. Ricky rips the Jays, 1989 highlight. Mike Pagliarulo, Pascal Perez, Curtis Wilkerson, Alfred Alfredo Griffin, Don August, Gary Pettis, Ricky Henderson, Pete Hanich, Willie Frazier. Tan Fosas, Dave West, and Jose Tijasus. Okay. 100 likes. And I'll... There's no sound. Oh, oh, dog got in the way. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Surprise, honey, I'm home. Okay, there it goes. I'm at, I'm at the command center, so it's totally different here. So, um, so there, 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 you have it. There you have it. Um, <laughs> so um, Thursday, I don't know if we're gonna have a show Thursday, but I we I think we need to go on live earlier because we're not gonna open that one thing until well. You guys will be, uh, we have an interesting week because it is spring break week. So we'll let you know. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I just literally drove in um, from Santa Fe, spent a couple of days there and it's pretty awesome. So, um, but super tired, been driving, uh, took two days to get out there, but only one day back. So um, anyway, um, <laughs> everybody's here. The dogs are going crazy. So we're going to bid you good night. Um, and more in store. Um, we'll probably be posting some pictures up on Facebook, but yes, I have video and yes, I may have some other things. So we have some exciting stuff coming up this week. Um, so thanks you guys. I don't know how to turn this off. Hey, Mike, yeah. Mike, Mike, Mike. I don't know what to do here. Bye, okay. Everybody. Hi. Click it. Instagram.